Now, according to reports, over 450 protesters, including 63 children, have died so far since the nationwide protests broke out in Iran in September this year. The protests have steadily spread across different parts of the country. The protesters are demanding freedom and equality. The protests have spread across Tehran, Tabriz, Gazvin and Qom. One protester named Mohsen Shekari has been hung to death for allegedly stabbing a security guard. This was the first such execution after thousands of arrests over the unrest drawing a chorus of Western condemnation. Molavi Abdul Hamid, an outspoken Sunni cleric in the Shiite-ruled Islamic Republic, has criticized the death sentence. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei's niece, Faride Morad Kani, who had criticized the regime and supported the ongoing protests against the Islamic Republic, has been in prison since last month. She has been sentenced to three years in jail. There are allegations of torture and sexual abuse of detained protesters. According to the medic reports, women protesters were mostly shot in the face and in the genitals. Mohammed Mehdi Karami, who has been sentenced to death for the alleged murder of a pro-regime Basij member, shared his story of severe physical and mental abuse by government agents. Karami has told his family that regime agents sexually harassed him and threatened him with rape while, while touching his genitals. The regime has prepared a list of protesters who are in line for possible execution. Dozens could face execution in Iran due to the protests. Fifteen are on trial in the city of Karaj, including three 17-year-old boys and a married couple. Iran has been drawing intense flak internationally recently. Australian government imposed sanctions on 13 individuals, including the Morality Police and the Basij Resistance Force. On the other hand, while attending a ceremony honoring security forces killed in the protests, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi expressed his determination to identify, try and punish the perpetrators of martyrdom of the security forces. Now, according to reports, Iran government claims protesters are apparently also behind arson attacks on military bases. There are reports of fires in military barracks and bases of Basij paramilitary forces across Iran. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.